GH for STEM Juniors Challenge. From We Power Authority JHS in the Brongahafa region of Ghana, we have David Kwesi Bailey. Kwesi will use an electronic circuit to measure the level of water in a tank. For this science practical, he needs a buzzer, a switch, a 9 voltage battery, transistors, and a 100 ohms for resistors. Now let's see what this junior scientist can do. An electric circuit consists of connections of components that would allow electric current to flow through. I'll first bring my board. So I will now cut my thread metal. So I will use my glue to firm it. After that, I will connect my LEDs to the resistors. I will connect the negative side to the LEDs. I will now connect my transistors to the resistors, the collector side of the transistor. Resistors reduce the flow of current. The transistor is used to amplify signals. So I will now connect my LEDs, the positive side to the metal. LED means light emitting diode. It produces light when current passes through it. So now I'll fix my buzzer, the positive side to the street metal. The buzzer produces sound. So now I'll connect my 9 volt battery connector to the positive side of the meter. Current flows from the battery. I will now connect my resistor to the buzzer, the negative side. So I will now use my wire to join the emitter, which will serve as the negative side. I'm connecting the wire to the positive side. So I'm now coming to connect my wires to the base side of the transistor into the water. I'm coming to connect my switch, the positive side and the negative side. I will now connect my 9 volt battery to the 9 volt battery connector. I will now use my glue to hold the battery, the switch and the buzzer in place. I will peel my wires to get into the water. Peeling off the wires ensures direct contact with the water current flow to produce signals from the buzzer. I'm going to use this ruler as my marker to determine the level of water in a container. To achieve this, I'm going to lay my wires on this ruler in different intervals to serve as our senses. I will place my container here and put my ruler inside. I will pour my water in. The red means the water has almost finished. The water is in the middle of the container. The water is full in the container. The alarm means the water is about to overflow. Once the water touches the exposed wire, it closes the circuit related to that part and the connected LED comes on. Supposing you have a poly tank at the back of your house and you're pumping water into it, there is a need for you to get a device which when you are in your house, you will know how much water you have pumped into the tank. My name is Hine Kofi Johnson, a headmaster of Weeper Authority DHHS and a science teacher. Detectors such as this are used in hydroelectric power generation to determine the depth of water in dams. For example, Akosombo and Bui dams. This is why some walking sticks are designed for the blind to signal them any time the stick touches water. It's time for Genial's Practical STEM Quiz. 
The loudness of the sound is very important since it serves as an alert. Create a simple circuit using a dry cell, wires and a buzzer. What will happen when the dry cell is increased? A. The sound will decrease. B. The sound will increase. And C. The loudness of the buzzer remains the same. Now that was an amazing experiment, wasn't it? Can you try this experiment at home? Either by yourself or with your friends from school. Make a video or take pictures of your experiment. Ask your teacher or your parents to help you post the results of your experiment on social media. Tag We Go Innovate so that you can win some fabulous prizes. Don't forget to add your name and the name of your school to your entry and hashtag gh 4 stem You can check out any of our experiments at www.wegoinnovate.org and please leave a comment. You can also follow us on social media at We Go Innovate or WhatsApp us on 055-406-6248. Good luck with your experiment. You can be a junior scientist too.